Andrea Gannon with Fluid Power World, Design World, and Medical Design and Outsourcing. And I'm here today with Matt Larson at Clippard. And Matt is going to tell us a little bit about Clippard's newest product, the Cordis. So tell us what the Cordis is and what you guys are hoping to accomplish with it. So the Cordis is an electronic pressure controller similar to other products within the industry, but where we really stand out is it revolves around a microcontroller that takes a command signal and compares it to the output pressure of the unit. Our unit uses two proportional valves, one on the inlet, one on the exhaust side to relieve any process pressure downstream. Our software is proprietary to Clippard. What, what are the typical applications for this product? Where is it gonna be used mostly? Typical applications would be like in the leak test industry, where they might be testing uh, low flow, low pressure applications, okay. as well as the life science industry for similar things like DNA sequencing or DNA testing for diabetes. This requires very low volume, low flow, low pressure applications and requires very stable and high resolution control. Now I know that there's some unique capabilities with the pressure and flows in these devices. Can you tell us a little bit about the pressure and flow capabilities? So the calibrated range of the unit are zero to 150 PSI. Mm -hmm. For special applications, we can do vacuum through positive pressure as well. We have a multiple choices that we can preset on the valves themselves, because of course we manufacture the Clifford valves mm -hmm. right here in Fairfield. So we are able to customize these very easily based on the customer applications. Okay. Now what about repeatability, accuracy? I'm sure those are pretty pretty exact for you guys, going like Clippard's history. Yes, great question. So basically the accuracy for the unit is plus or minus 0.25%. Okay. Resolution is five millivolt resolution. And the stability comes from the fact that we have an integrated pressure sensor constantly looking downstream at the pressure based on the command signal and proportional inlet and proportional exhaust valve. So not only do we get a proportional command up in pressure, we also get it coming down. So sounds like a great product. What what else sets it apart from you know other market other products available on the marketplace like this? Basically through our software design that we've done in-house we are able to make the unit very flexible for the customer applications. Mm -hmm. These units are going to be, are currently being used in those hard to do applications where low volume, high resolution is required. What we've done in the past is with a straight analog unit, this unit would have to come back to the manufacturer and be preset based on what the customer requirements were. So what that would do is that would cause delays based on we weren't able to actually mimic the customer application here at our place without being on the machine. The customer is actually allowed and able to, and we want to, to actually, through a 3.3 volt serial communication, they can actually log into the unit and adjust the PNI settings directly at the machine based specifically on what they need the unit to do. And these type of settings will be able to adjust the accuracy, hysteresis, and stability of the unit and put that decision in the customer's hands. Sounds like a great product, really giving the customers full control and easy to use. It sounds like it's a pretty easy to use product. Yes, it is very easy to use and not to mention we are definitely here to help however we can. Great. Well, thank you so much for being with us, Matt. Thanks for taking your time out of your day to shoot this video with us. Can you tell our, our uh, viewers where they can find more information? For information such as specs and literature, you can go to clipper.com and all the information is there for you to find. Well, thank you so much, Matt. We really appreciate your time and thank you all for watching.